What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got a super easy nail art compilation for you just in time for the winter holidays. So we've got six designs. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to do each one and you can really use any polishes that you want but I will link all the ones that I'm using down in the description. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with the absolute easiest. This one requires literally no skill at all. It's super easy to do and you can do it as an accent nail or you can do it as a full manicure. I'm going to start off with this color Cran Barely Believe It from Orly and I'm going to apply two coats of it and then I'm going to put on a matte top coat. Now this is an optional step but when you have a shimmer polish like this and you put matte top coat on it, it almost gives a sort of velvety look which I think is perfect for this particular manicure because we're going to be creating a little Santa hat French manicure. So I'm going to take my white nail polish. I'm using OPI Alpine Snow but you can use any white and I'm using using a larger dotting tool and what I'm doing is I'm going on the free edge of my nail and I am just creating a row of dots that are half on my nail and half off my nail so it creates this sort of fluffy scalloped edge to my nail. The idea here is kind of looking like the trim on Santa's jacket or his hat and that is literally all you need to do for this design. If you want you can apply top coat but since I did a matte top coat on my first layer here I'm just going to keep it as is and it almost creates a little bit of a three-dimensional look on the nails as well. So it's super fun, it's super easy, and I feel like it's always perfect for the holidays. Now let's move on to another super simple design just using a dotting tool. I'm going to start off with a white base, but really you can use whatever base you want. I just had in mind to use some of my collab polishes that I did with Cirque because I realized a few of them work really well for the holidays. So I'm using the shade All In first, and I'm going to use a double-sided dotting tool starting with the larger side and starting with the free edge of my nail I'm going to create a bunch of random light green dots on my nail and then as I get further up my nail towards the cuticle I'm going to go in with smaller dots and I'm going to make them a little bit more sparse so now I'm just going to recreate that again just applying randomly dots on my nails but I'm going to use my darker green which in this case is the shade ethyl and honestly you could stop right here this also is a very cute manicure but I just had to add some red in as well to make it very festive. So I'm also taking the color 777 and I am applying more random dots along my nail, kind of just filling in the area more heavily towards the bottom free edge of my nail and then getting more sparse as I go up the nail and then just going in and filling in any extra areas that I need to in order to make it look like a nice dotted gradient going down my nails and getting more intense. So that is it for the design. I applied some top coat just to smooth everything out into one layer but I thought this was super fun and festive because you get all those Christmassy colors in there but it doesn't require any free handing or skill with a steady hand so it's super easy to do. So now we're moving on to another design that's super simple but this one uses striping tape so I'm going to use this shade after light from ILNP as my base color. I just thought it was super beautiful and elegant and it really felt like a great base for a holiday manicure and I am applying top coat over this and once that fully dries I'm going to create a triangle with striping tape on my nails and then I'm going to randomly place a bunch of other pieces of tape so it almost gives like a stained glass look. So then I'm going to take my green nail polish. This one is Zoya CC. I thought this would be fun because it is a textured polish so I just really love playing around with textures and sparkles this time of year and I'm going to fill in that triangle which as you can see is a tree shape and then while that polish is still wet I'm going to peel off all of that striping tape that I had on the nail and I'm also going to peel off that little triangle that was my kind of outline for the full design and now I'm left with a little tree so you can draw on a little star if you want I actually have this little star charm that I applied and there's a little abstract Christmas tree Next up, we're going to do a design that I love to do when I really want to show off a specific nail polish that I think is super festive and fun. This time I'm using the shade House of Hades from Mooncat because I just feel like it's such a beautiful winter color. But again, you can use anything. You can also mix and match on your nails. And then I'm going to take the OPI Go Big or Grow Chrome because I thought that that would be a really fun contrast to House of Hades. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my nail look like a present. So I'm starting off 
with a little nail art brush. I'm applying a line down the center of my nail and then I'm also doing a horizontal line across my nail and that is going to be the ribbon. So all we have to do now is create a bow and it's actually a lot easier than it looks. You're basically just drawing two C shapes, one on each of the top sections of that plus sign and then you're gonna do two swooping lines on the bottom. And I know that it seems like this takes an amount of freehand skill, but honestly, the hardest part of this is creating these straight lines up and down and then across your nail. So you can always use striping tape for that part. And then all you have to do is draw on a little bow and it's just the perfect way to display a fun holiday color. The next manicure is slightly freehand, more a little bit of dotting tool stuff, but I promise you it's another easy one. This time I'm using ILNP Snow Angel as my base, and then I'm gonna take another ILNP polish. This one is called Say Love. This is a super shimmery hollow red polish, and I'm gonna use my larger dotting tool to create three dots to make little holly berries on the corner of my nail. And then I'm gonna take a green polish. This one is Rogue Lacquer in Sweater season and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start to draw little holly leaves on my nail but you really don't have to get too detailed with the leaves here. Once you have the general shape you can kind of just wiggle the brush around your nail and it creates enough of a shape that you can tell that this is a holly design and one way that you can do this is you can make it almost like a french tip with that holly or what I like to do is make it almost a border around your nail. So I'm creating a second leaf going up the cuticle area of my nail. Again, not really focusing too much on making very detailed leaves here. I'm just trying to make them connect with the little holly berries and I just wanted it to be nice and sparkly because I used a lot of really sparkly colors for this manicure. And then once I'm satisfied with that, I'm just applying my top coat and here you have it. Super simple. It is freehand, but it really doesn't require much freehand skill at all. And the final design is actually a gel jelly sandwich using a stamping plate. So I'm going to start off with a blue jelly. I'm using indigo jelly from Sir Colors and I'm just doing one layer on my nail and then I'm going to take a stamping polish. I'm just using stamped white from Picture Polish and then I'm going to use a stamping plate. This is from the brand Beauty and it's plate L08. I liked this one because there was a lot of different snowflake designs on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer of snowflakes on my nail, then I'm going to paint another layer of my jelly polish on, and then I'm going to put on another layer of snowflakes. And you can repeat this as many times as you want. The idea is to make it seem like there are just levels of snowflake on your nails. And as you paint on the layers of the jelly polish, you're going to push those snowflakes further back into the background of your manicure. So it's really fun to play around with. I was actually really happy with how it looked with two layers of each each, but you can always pop on a final coat of the jelly just to make it a little bit deeper and darker, but it's really up to you. This manicure was actually inspired by Nail Art by Tall on Instagram. I saw her do this a few years ago and I absolutely loved it. So very excited that I finally got a chance to recreate it. And it's just really fun when you have a bunch of different types of snowflakes on your nail because it looks as unique as actual snowflakes, which is super fun. So yeah, that is it for for my little nail art compilation of easy holiday nail art designs. Let me know in the comments what you think of them, which of the designs is your favorite, and if you're thinking about trying any of them on your nails. Also, let me know if you wanna see more nail art videos from me. I know I don't do them as frequently as I used to, and I honestly miss doing them. So let me know, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my cosmic admirals, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.